We are basically here to discuss um, on four fundamental issues. I think the first one is to do with um, us having an opportunity to reflect on the 20 years of democracy in South Africa and what that means in terms of um, to the South Africans and the region and the rest of the continent. This thing of migration and of visas, you know, it's based on what we were talking earlier about Zimbabwe and so on. If you look at it, the one thing that we have been doing, that every species that can move, including the fish in the sea, including the birds in the, in the sky, one of the most natural things of any living species is to migrate, not so. When I listen to you, you are trying to, to, to remind us of the basis or the basis of the liberation struggle of South Africa, what you guys believed in, what you guys fought for. And we are trying to make a comparison to say, are we still on the same track? I was looking at the history of migration over 190,000 years. And how did, if we say Africa is the cradle of mankind, how did the Aborigines get in us, into Australia when we have the sea? How did the Native Americans get into North Africa when we have the Atlantic Ocean? What we want is that you have to understand why these other African countries are here. If anyone, if your house is a peaceful place to live, you won't go and stay with your neighbors. My understanding of when you invite, when a visitor comes, okay, you treat the visitor with special respect because you recognize the vulnerability of a, of a visitor. You don't treat a visitor like a pig in a dust bowl. The second part has to do with uh, reflecting on ideas and strategies that um, can begin to shape the peace process and the idea of the Pan-African people-to-people -people solidarity. So what we need is that we have to be one wherever we are. If you see anyone who comes from Africa, please welcome them. They are from Somalia, DRC, Zambia, Zimbabwe. We are all one. We used to rise to each place. You know, and this stage place played a vital role. Unfortunately, our politicians today do not recognize that. But I want to suggest that we need to go back there because those stage plays would communicate best and direct with those kids for them to be able to be touched the way the bishop has touched me. Actually, when we talk about partnership, we're talking of unity. Once we can maybe uh, promote unity, then it's whereby we, we bring this partnership. Lastly, we're trying to locate the role of women in all these processes because our understanding is that men and women are affected differently by the challenges and circumstances that we find ourselves in, in our respective communities. What makes us think that we are men, really? Is it our physical makeup or what makes you a woman? Is it our physical makeup or is it a state of consciousness? And what makes this state of consciousness? What is different between me as a man and you as you consider yourself as a woman? It's, it's good to work with men, but um, we must also be proud <laughs> as women. Uh, when we say, what uh, um, it's the same something, it's, it's very powerful. So from here on, Solidarity with women and men, we are going to work together. Amanda. I think it's a very important space because it allows us to build understanding of each other 
as human beings and to understand how we are connected to each other as people from different parts of a continent that shares a common history, common legacies, and to chart a way forward looking at what the challenges we're facing are and to dream of a shared future together. <laughs> As we launched the African Solidarity Caravan here in Yeovil, uh, it is significant in the sense that we see this uh, as an opportunity for us to begin uh, a good process of linking and interconnecting all the solidarity activists across the continent. And we feel that every African should be part of this event and because we, we're trying to build people-to-people -people solidarity Ubuntu among ourselves. The African Solidarity Caravan is very important in that for the first time uh, Africans in their diversity, regardless of where they come from, they've come to realize that they are all Africans, so they are brothers. It is very beautiful that we start the caravan here in Johannesburg because there are people who can speak firsthand about how they've opened their families to other Africans, how they are helping other Africans in time of difficulty. It is our wish and our ambition that the caravan travels all the way to Ethiopia, very much like a bus, stopping where people are in trouble and in need of solidarity, getting on and getting off, learning about each other's cultures, each other's traditions, and understanding each other better. The African Solidarity Caravan aims to involve everybody including Africans across the continents and in the diaspora, and all people around the world committed to the vision of the world of justice and peace, in which all basic needs are met and people's rights and dignity are respected. The African Solidarity Caravan also seeks to depend a culture of people-to-people -people solidarity. A series of interconnected events will be organized throughout the continent to make sure that everyone is mobilized and is on board. Through the caravan, we intend to build and strengthen a strong movement of peace and justice by supporting local initiatives for transformation. We hope that our caravan will give us a chance to get to know each other better and to show firsthand that Africa is not only a place of war and struggle, but it's also a place where we show each other solidarity, where we stand by each other, where we show each other humanity. And just like the schools that have led us this morning, show us that whichever country in Africa you come from, you can live side by side. We see Africa Day as an opportunity for us to honor the great uh, revolutionaries that um, struggled um, for the freedom that we enjoy today. We also see it as an opportunity and the best way of honoring, uh, for example, Thomas Sankara, for honoring, for example, Samora Marshall, for honoring even Stephen, uh, Steve Biko, rather, and uh, Kwame Nkrumah. We believe in strongly in this day that we are celebrating in, in a calling of our own African Union and Africans to be together, to united and to be independent from the West.
Let us dream of an Africa where it is much easier to cross the borders, borders that many of us did not make, borders that were made for us in the, in the 1880, 1800s um, at the Berlin Conference in Europe by colonial leaders. Borders that mean a Zimbabwean can be a Zimbabwean on both sides of the Zambezi, living either on one side of the Zambezi River or on the other side of the Zambezi River because of the nature of our borders. We are one Africa, is it? Yes. We can be Swaziland, we can be Zimbabweans, we can be Zambians, we can be Senegalese, we can be Congolese, but it's just one Africa. Let me hear somebody say, one Africa! Viva, viva, viva South Africa, viva! Viva Zimbabwe, viva, viva Zimbabwe! Am I an African? A disgusting African? A Western disguising as an African? Isn't it quite frightening that I'm literally enlightening? Despite my darkness, I still live like a brideful. It's not wonderful. My father's mother says it's awful. Maybe one day our lands could be fruitful and more fools could widen their faces and, and face reality that we bloody Africans. Africans. Art. Africa is art. My heart is art. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to change because before I was discriminating uh, the foreigners, seeing that they're taking our work and so and so forth. But now I can see that we were wrong. We shouldn't discriminate other people. Africa has a very rich legacy of supporting other Africans, be they on the continent or be they in other parts of the world. The 54 countries of Africa, it's very difficult to travel around Africa without a passport. Imagine, our continent, it's easier to send money than to send a human being to another country. Isn't that strange? It's easier to send drugs or guns to another country than it is for a human being to go to another country. Again, isn't that very strange? It is our hope that moving forward, young people, old people, women and men, activists will be able to work together, to struggle together, knowing very well that if we work as a collective, will be able to achieve and to unleash the great potential that exists within us as Africans.